Shalom, I'm Messianic Rabbi Zev Porat, and welcome to Breaking News from Israel. Benjamin Netanyahu is being bombarded by the world news saying that he broke the deal to send the refugees to the third country, Rwanda, and that he's not honoring uh, what he said he'll do with the UN. Well, what's happening here in Israel right now is Benjamin Netanyahu just got on live television and reported that it is Rwanda that broke the deal. In fact, he found out that they're going to uh, take these refugees from Israel, uh, actually accept them and then deport them to other countries that are dangerous. So he doesn't want to jeopardize their life. So what's being portrayed in the news in the world is not accurate. It is Uganda that has broken that deal. So please pray for Benjamin Netanyahu as being barbounded by the news media around the world. And it's just not true. It's fake news. Benjamin Netanyahu actually is very much concerned about these people. I know that he went with Ali Adeli in these last couple of days to the south area of the Tel Aviv area where most of these refugees are located. And he went to them, they brought them food, and he was showing his concern for the humanitarian situation of these people. So on the contrary, Benjamin Netanyahu and the government of Israel are doing everything they can uh, not just to deport these people or to just throw them out of the country, but to take care of them, to make sure that they're not jeopardizing the security here in Israel. Again, we're in the time of the 70th year of Israel coming in, the embassy being moved in May from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. And once again, it's spiritual warfare attacked against Benjamin Netanyahu, who only wants for the good of the people. And in fact, the government of Israel is very, very pro-humanitarian uh, rights for all people. Meanwhile, the news that broke out last month that the police want to indict Benjamin Netanyahu, that's falling through the wall. Uh, looks like they're not going to indict Benjamin Netanyahu, and the reason they're not going to indict him is because exactly what he's been saying, there's nothing to indict. He is totally innocent. It's just spiritual warfare trying to attack him. As we always like to say, he's been positioned by the God of Abraham, Isaacs, and Jacob to be in government, and they will not be able to take him out or Donald Trump. This is what the people are saying here in Israel, in the streets, and everybody's excited about it. So no indictment for Benjamin Netanyahu. That is very, very good news. Also, his wife, Sarah Netanyahu, was supposed to be indicted. I got thrown out too as well because there's not enough evidence to indict them because these people, of course, are innocent. It's just Satan working behind the scenes. So please keep Israel and uh, the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his wife and all the government in your prayers as they're being attacked by the world media. Meanwhile, during this Feast of Unleavened Bread, there have been some areas in Israel, mostly in the borderline, where the terrorists have tried to do some attacks, some rock throwing. A few soldiers were stabbed, but nothing like the media is portraying around the world that 700 people were shot. That is uh, absolutely not true. There may have been 30 or 40 people shot, and most of them were Hamas terrorists in the Gaza area. So that news report also is not accurate. This week, over 100,000 people attend in the Western Wall in Jerusalem, the Kotel area, to receive the priestly blessing, Numbers chapter 6, verse 24 to 26. The main rabbis of Israel were there, including the main rabbi of the Orthodox Movement of Israel, Harav David Lau, Rabbi David Lau, who conducted this ceremony. And it's amazing to see how many people want to receive this blessing. As believers in Jesus and Yeshua, we understand that that blessing comes from the heavenly realm, comes from the priest himself, the high priest, Jesus, Yeshua, and only he's the one that can bless it. So let's pray for Israel as they're wanting to receive this blessing as during this period of time, unleavened bread and uh, the feast of Passover, they would come to know that Jesus, Yeshua, is the Messiah, that they would have visitations in their dreams, that they would have visions. And as the gospel is being preached all through Israel, through our ministry, and other believers that they would come into faith in Messiah Yeshua. So the priestly blessing is our inheritance through the one new man, Ephesians 2.15, grafted into that olive tree. It's a wonderful blessing, and we pray that they would come to know Jesus as the Messiah. So keep Israel in your prayer. Psalms 122.6 say, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper, that love be. And we know that actually, that Bible verse is actually speaking about them coming to know Messiah Yeshua because they miss his first coming. Let's pray they don't miss his second coming. Until next time, I'm Messianic Rabbi Zef Porat reporting you live from Yerushalayim, from Jerusalem, with breaking news 
Blessings in the name of Yeshua. Shalom.